Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Ray here on this uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon. Um, all is well today. I hope all is well with you guys as well. Uh, beautiful service today at church today. Great fellowship with the brothers and sisters. Uh, let's let's go ahead and have a great week this week and a productive week. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, was trust in him. It was rely on him and his will and allow his word to dwell through us. Um, and work through us and let us be uh, vessels, living vessels uh, to the gospel by letting it reflect our lives in every aspect to the people around us. So I want to read uh, Psalms 147, the scripture today, Psalms 147. Um, child, this is a uh, verse three, and it says, he heals the brokenhearted, binds up their wounds, curing their pains and their sorrows. This is the uh, Amplified Classic version. Um, Jesus Christ is our Lord. He protects us in all things. He guides us in all ways and mannerisms. When we are constantly dwelling within him, his spirit will dwell in us and will control our actions, our attitudes. No matter if our flesh wants to go against the, the go against the grain or go against the will of the, of the spirit, if we're dwelling in the spirit, having his word dwelling in us, staying in prayer, staying in constant communication with our Lord Jesus Christ we don't have to worry about what else is going on or anything else that's outside of our control or anything else because in the end everything is in the hands of God everything is in his control so what we need to do is when we have broken hearts when we have frustrations in our lives when we go through ups and downs and trials and things like that um, he's the one that comforts us and guides us through all these things. He cures up your pains from your past. So if you if you had a real uh, rough life, if you lived a hard life, uh, when you come to Jesus Christ and he transforms you, he changes your mind and your heart. You become a new creature. You can, you, you're no longer that old person. All the things that affected you in the past um, will, will be you know, nothing anymore. You'll be a, a, just a thing of the past to be washed away. And then you become new in him. Once you start dwelling in him, you'll know who your true identity is as being a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ and letting his ways be into you. So you can, like I said, we, like I always say is when you dwell in the Lord Jesus Christ and you let his spirit dwell in you, then he can use you to lift up his kingdom and to lift others up, to lead others to him. That's the main goal as being a soldier or, or a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ is never to, to gain self-gain. That is the least of the things. The least of the things is put yourself to be humbly, have true humble heart, um, not for trying to gain anything or gain an advantage, but to, uh, to uplift the kingdom, to give the kingdom, give his kingdom glory because end of the day, it is God who we serve, and we must be. We must serve Him in truth and in spirit and in truth. That's how we must serve Him, and not for our own benefits, not to gain uh, popularity or to gain friends or likes or anything like that, but to stay true to His Word, to be a living vessel, a living testimony to His Word, and letting it be known to everyone that you encounter who you are in Christ, not to show off as a badge of honor anything but by your what your humility your true humility your humble attitude in your heart letting you just you know let if anyone gives you praise let them but do never give yourself praise because remember god is the one who controls all things he is the giver of all things he is the one who works through us and is and gives us the ability to do great things through his name and it's never for our own gain so just remember that guys you know he heals the brokenhearted he binds up our wounds. He heals us of our pains and sorrows. Anything that you're going through, if you're going through loss, if you're going through sickness, if you're going through a loss of job, if you're having uh, a hard time in this time where, you know, the things are going on with all the, 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 the distractions that are going on in this world, just remember that the Lord Jesus Christ gives us peace and comfort and he heals and he gives us strength to endure through all things. So brothers and sisters, just remember that Brother Ray loves you. Uh, Jesus loves you first. And I'll always I'll tell you I love you because he loved he first loved me. So I have no choice but to love each and every person that I encounter here. Um, no matter where I go, no matter who I talk to, I always tell them I love them because you know what? That's what God put into my heart. He put us here to love each other, not to hate each other or to be um, angry with anyone or to call strife. 
we have to be the light. If we want to lead people to Christ, we got to be the light in the midst of darkness. And I'm standing on the word of truth. You know, I share things in the Bible. Some of the things may be a little controversial things, but they're truth. And I do it out of love. I don't do it out of hate. I don't do it to try to make people mad. But it's true. You know, the word of God is truth. Whether people want to believe it or not, they can have their own ideas and thoughts. But God's purpose is true. His word is here. true. It's here. So if it wasn't true, why would the word be here? Why would it be um, so powerful and to transform people's lives? And all these things that are in the word of God, most of all the things um, of the prophecies and things of that have came to pass so far. And there's yet still many, many more things to come in the future. So if I was you, if I was a person who was not a believer and um wanted to get to know who God is, I would get in the word of God. If you want to know what's going to happen in the future, get in the word of God. But not only do that, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind through your spirit. That this is in Romans 12, 12, 1, 2. So make sure that you let that manifest at your heart. Let it transform you. God's word is here to transform you, to renew you, to 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 take away the old way of thinking, to transform it, to get you in the right direction according to his will and his purpose so you can be used to glorify him and to um, do all things through him and to be able to you be a vessel to lead others to him as well so just as a reminder guys study your word of god stay in prayer keep your family in prayer keep everyone in prayer keep me in prayer as well i love you guys you guys have a blessed week have a strong week in the name of our lord jesus christ amen